beautiful people. It's a good day. It's the day I've been looking forward for a long time. So let's see why I am so happy about this day. Yeah. We're going to go here and look at the royal family. Yeah, we're going to start. Yeah, the role of the royal family. Members of the royal family work together to support the king in his official duties. Yeah, they do actually. We have Charles. We have Camilla. We have, obviously, my gorgeous Prince William. The most beautiful Princess Catherine. We have the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Edward, the Duke of Edinburgh. We have uh, Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, of course. We have, uh, you know, she's actually my favorite royal, I gotta say, Princess Anne, the Princess Royal. We have the Duke of Gloucester. We have the Duchess of Gloucester. We have the Duke of Kent. We have Princess Alexandra. We have <laughs> Prince Andrew. And that's where the royal family ends. They still have to remove Prince Andrew, but I am happy that Harry and his ganky wife are gone. Can you believe this? This is a good day. Let's get into this. Those of you who have been following me know how important this is to me and how important actually it is for the monarchy. How many years have we been asking for this to be over and done with? Quite a few. And I know what you guys are going to think. Oh, this has nothing to you guys talking about it. They were planning on doing it. Trust me, public pressure does help. And I know people like to be dismissive of YouTubers. I'm not saying that I did it by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm saying that, yes, Siri, ay, Dios mío. Siri, you're shaming me. Um, what I'm saying is that it helps. And apparently this was done at the insistence of His Royal Highness, Prince William, the Prince of Wales. I, I sort of got just one second, guys. Because he has discovered quite a few things. Harry and Meghan are getting ready to do another Oprah interview. Um, another one. Yeah, Oprah doesn't learn. Number two, he's discovered that Harry and Meghan are indeed behind the smear campaign against his beautiful, gorgeous wife and children, which increases the risk of that. And also, Prince William has said, enough is enough. They're no longer part of the royal family, working members, of, they're no, no longer working members of the royal family. They may be, Harry may be my brother and my father's son, but it doesn't mean that he can run wild with things. Hopefully, this will stay permanent and they won't be coming back for a long, long time. So what do you think happened? Uh, I wonder if we're going to see the children removed from the line of succession, those invisible children removed from the line of succession. I think we're starting to see few very serious steps that William is going to be taking when he becomes king. And I, for one, I wish I were alive. I hope I am alive by the time he becomes king, because that would be so awesome, guys. If, you know, I would, I would literally fly to London to, to, to be there. You know, if he's crown king, when he's crown king, if, if I am alive. Because um, God knows how long Charles is going to be a monarch for. It could be 20 years. You know, they tend to live a long time. So it could be 20 years from now. Hopefully I'm still alive. But yeah, we're now looking at what it means when, Char when William is in charge. And that's a clear, loud message to the world that Harry and Meghan cannot keep running loose and we're going to be putting up with it hopefully they're gone for good hopefully this is not just you know that they're refurbishing the website but it gives me hope because they left andrew there but it doesn't matter i really can i can live with andrew you know yeah he's a creep yeah i know i know i know i know i know guys but he's still innocent in the eyes of the law 
there's no investigations or anything we can speculate a lot but he's still innocent you know he's an innocent man he hasn't bad mouthed his family he hasn't betrayed the queen he hasn't betrayed anybody to the point you know yeah he's a bit of a you know and fergie bleh. but let's concentrate on the positive news so we're looking at prince william in action because he gave King Charles an ultimatum, it's either them or us, because, and I mean, Charles was just playing fast and loose with Harry and Meghan. I wonder what else is coming up, because this is huge, guys. This is actually very big. But again, I, I don't care that it was William at Williams, uh, you know, instigated this move, but I am glad that it got done. I am glad that it got done, that they were completely removed as working royals from the royal website. I think we should all celebrate this thing. So <laughs> we know that Meghan Markle is going to go on a rampage about her being removed because she's going to go and claim that they're all racist and this is why they removed her from the royal website. No, they removed her because she's no longer a working royal. And the royal family, the monarchy, is finally sending a message to the world. Don't come looking for them here on the website because they're no longer working royals. They are no longer, they no longer have access to any of us except two people in the royal family. And I'm going to do a video who the royal moles are, who the real royal traders are passing on information. And even those two are in Alita de Cucaracha. That's, that's a saying like, you know, like when you, when you, uh, you know, cockroaches, they have wings, you know, and they fly, but they're very thin. So they're threading on thin ice. So, oh, we can surely expect Montecito melt um, over there because I wonder if she's going to get a message that she can't use a royal logo for her skanky website. I hope that she's been told, because I don't know if I told you, but this lawyer, I, I published this article, a lawyer bought, in California, bought Sussex, SussexRoyal.com. He bought that in 2020, I believe. And nobody's approached him. But I wonder if Meg, this, they had a conversation with Rachel Meghan Markle when she published that really weird logo thing that basically read Megan Regina MR. If you really look at that, you know, just like Elizabeth R or like Char CR, Charles Regina, you know, like, but it's the same. Megan is, if you read it, it's MR, Megan Regina, and they're using the logos. It is my belief that they were told you went too far. You went too far by using the logos because Sarah Fergie has been using her title, but she's never used a royal logo or stamp. It's always been just Duchess of, Sus uh, Duchess of York. Not the Duchess of York, but Duchess of York, which in my opinion is still very skanky. So there's a lot of shakeups going on right now in the royal family. And I wonder if this is why Meghan Markle has paused her Instagram. Thing hasn't really grown. How much do you think is going to affect their Sussex brand? That mock of a thing that they published saying, oh, we changed our name to Sussex because we want family unity. No, that's not your last name. Sussex is a place in the United Kingdom, which you hardly ever go see, in which you have trash. You know, my mic, my mic keeps falling off. I'll have to paint it better. So, yeah. So, we have there. Meghan and Harry have shamed Sussex. And let's not forget that on June 14th is going to be the second reading for the amendment of this Treason Act of 1917. So they can remove Parliament, will be able to remove Prince and Princess and any other royal titles. So that amendment is coming through and it's going to be read. But I wonder if Meghan and Harry were read the Riot Act because they're gone. Bye bye. Bye bye. They're gone. And I, this girl is happy. Hopefully it'll be a permanent change and I wonder what's going to happen now with their brand now that they're completely cut off as working royals. Leave me your comments.